So I have found it to be extremely important and helpful when starting a blog and just your personal brand in general to have a plan. And I'm gonna share with you guys today how to be a better planner. And I hope these tips will help inspire you to become a better planner if you are not a great one yet. Hola chicas, welcome back to my channel this week. I'm going to share with you guys today how you can become a better planner with your blogging process because we all know how challenging and frustrating it can be to start a blog. And I know that personally and I wanna share with you guys what I've learned. So let's go ahead and dive into my five tips for being a better planner. Writing things down is so helpful because you can actually refer to it and see it every day. And research has actually shown that writing it down helps you remember things better and to be more overall productive. So it's basically like a zen for your mind in a way. And it saves you time and keeps you from having to just scramble around as you're going from day to day, developing your blog and getting used to your personal process. Writing down in your planner different forms of inspiration for you is probably one of the biggest tips I can give you to be a better planner because you will be inspired every day by what you write down and you can keep track every month and every week and even every day of your progress. For me, I, at the start of the new year, love having one word to focus on for that year, but I found that it's honestly really challenging to keep up a annual just habit and it's much more productive to have a routine that you focus on every month or even every week. So I like to write down every day reasons I love doing my blog and how I've already succeeded in the process because that is tons of positive affirmation for myself. You can write down things you want to learn to say no to because it is so important to say no sometimes and not just get overwhelmed with too many tasks and taking on too much. You can write down your health goals, you can write down your weekly routines, your monthly goals whatever it is, writing it down and keeping track of this will definitely help you be a better planner and to be excited about the journey as a blogger. Finances are a huge part of your life and if you are starting a business and a personal brand and blog, you are going to have to keep track of your finances more than you ever probably have before. And this can definitely be a big learning curve. I've experienced the struggles myself. I've definitely had to have John Luke help me with this because he's a lot better with managing the finances and just teaching me how to do it efficiently and well. So keeping track of your finances in your daily planning is going to keep you much more relieved. It's going to relieve your stress and you will be able to keep track of your financial goals when things are due, your bills, and not get overwhelmed with the process because it's already going to be a lot to think about when you're starting a blog and your own brand. So having this very organized and tangible where you could see it all the time is a huge step forward into being a better planner and to be just more efficient and motivated in your planning. An example of a finance that I have to keep track of personally, even aside from my personal brand and my blog, is student loans. I keep track of that every month, even every week. I have a little notification I get via email that tells me when a new payment is due and just really helps me stay on top of this and not get behind in my finances, especially with starting a new journey and learning how to be my own boss and what that looks like. Working on your actual business, not just in your business, is honestly a lot easier as you are starting off because your business is just beginning and you're hearing tons of advice probably and tips that maybe you don't need to take all of it, maybe some of it you do. And it's very important as time continues to remember why you started your blog in the first place. Remembering your why and being grateful for the journey is absolutely 110% going to keep you moving forward and it's going to help you map out the journey and stay on focus with your purpose and why you started your blog. But being able to work on your business is going to help it grow in general. And this requires you to just sit down and avoid any distractions and any other issues that you might be dealing with that are more focused on daily tasks. You definitely need to remain self-aware and on point with the current state of your business because if you just get too out of control with ideas and tasks, you're going to lose track on the purpose of your business in the first place. Self-care and enjoying time for yourself is unbelievably vital with having a blog and a brand and just running your own business because it is so easy to set that aside and spend tons and tons of time 
on your business and forget to take care of yourself. You are the driving force of your blog and your business. If you are not on point and sharp and ready to go each day to face the daily hustle, then you are not going to see as much success with your blog and you're going to be very frustrated because your confidence is definitely going to decrease and you will feel more insecurities when you do not set aside time for yourself. You must carve out time in your daily planning and in your weekly planning for hobbies and time with family and friends and time to yourself. And this could be doing an exercise routine every day with your friend or your husband or whoever it is. This could be an example of self-care and just time away from the job. Or even doing hobbies that you love, whether that's running or painting or singing, whatever it is, focusing on things that bring you joy and activities that clear your mind and refresh you is going to keep the journey exciting and fresh and definitely as productive as it could be. Simply take time to breathe and take in the blessings and the beauty of the life you've been given and all the opportunities that you have because starting a blog and having a brand is a very exciting and fun adventure, but it's also very challenging and can feel lonely sometimes. So making sure you are intact with yourself and what you're feeling and what you need to do is so important for planning. And you will not be as self-aware if you are not spending time doing things you love and if you are too much in the zone with just your business because that is not the only piece of your life. There are tons of other things that have been a part of your life before this business that you need to focus on and not forget as well. I want all of you chicas to create your best days and to be as confident as you can be in your overall well-being and your lifestyle. And especially for those of you who have started a blog and are just frustrated in the daily process. I want you to have a better plan and to be more productive. And I'm excited to offer some courses that are definitely going to focus on this even more in depth in the future. And I will share these on here with you guys. So definitely subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you are new, I'm glad you came by and I'm excited to see you in the future and if you are old you should have already subscribed already it is so important to become a better planner and learn ways you can be in your blogging journey and in your journey creating a personal brand and my videos are shared every Monday at 12 30 p.m. central time so I look forward to sharing more with you guys in the future and I hope you come back because there's plenty of more fun exciting content coming your way soon besos